good day and welcome to edifest tv now today we are going to talk on functioning and component ecosystem and learning objectives of this lesson after this lesson students should be able to define the ecosystem then describe different types and structures of the ecosystem now firstly before we move on what is an ecosystem now an ecosystem is a community of living organisms in conjunction with the non-living component interacting as a system now you could see the ecosystem is divided into two like it's gotten from the two words echo and system now echo means environment why system means regularly interacting and independent components forming a unified whole so that's what the ecosystem is about both living and non-living things coming together to make a system to make a whole then types of ecosystem now we have two types of ecosystem the terrestrial ecosystem and the aquatic ecosystem and the examples of terrestrial ecosystems the forest the grassland and the desert once you hear terrestrial land should come to your mind then aquatic is water now now the aquatic um, aquatic ecosystem you have the lake wetland river sea ocean and so on those are the water bodies now next we have here is the structure of the ecosystem you could also refer to it as the component of the ecosystem and the ecosystem is divided into two major components the biotic component and the, and the abiotic component the biotic components are composed of only living organisms bio means life so only living organisms are involved in this part of the ecosystem then the other is the abiotic component abiotic component includes all the non-living organisms the non-living organisms of the environment now for the abiotic um, eco component of the ecosystem we have the primary and the chemical part of it now these they practically provide all the energy for the ecosystem it includes the temperature includes light then minerals those things are part that are called that are known as the abiotic component of the ecosystem why the biotic like i said earlier that refers to the living world of an ecosystem it includes the plants and animals the ones that have life now these two work together these two components they work together to form the ecosystem without one the ecosystem is incomplete without the other the ecosystem is also incomplete so the next is the functions of the ecosystem the functions of the ecosystem now the components of the ecosystem are seen to function as a unit when we consider the following aspects now the function in productivity the function in decomposition in energy flow and nutrient cycling i'm just going to briefly talk on productivity now the rate of biomass for the production in the ecosystem is known as productivity and down to the decomposition the breakdown of complex organic matter into inorganic substances like carbon dioxide now these um, the abiotic factors they break down they break down complex organic matters into inorganic substances that can be used in the ecosystem and the next is energy flow the flow of energy is one way direction from producer to consumer and ends in the decomposition now in the energy flow we find out that every organism depends on another organism for help for food for supply of energy for instance, in the in a in food chain, when a food pyramid, energy pyramid rather, 
the it starts with the producers the producers are the plants they manufacture their own food they don't depend on any other organism they manufacture their own food it depends on sunlight to produce food now animals are consumers animals they consume they depend on these plants which are the autotrophs to get energy then the composite the composers also depend on these consumers to get their own energy so that's that in summary ecosystems are the source of a variety of services including food fresh water building materials and medical and industrial products as well as cultural and recreational services now in simple words the structure of an ecosystem means the composition of biological community including species population biomass life history now the quantity and distribution of abiotic materials now the ecosystem is very very vital i said something earlier that the two components of the ecosystem which is abiotic and the biotic without one the ecosystem is incomplete I meaning we are all in this together we all work hand in hand to make the ecosystem complete now down here i have some questions for you now what is the ecosystem i'll give the component of an ecosystem drop the answers down in the comment section have a great day thank you